Shannon. I work at GoDaddy on the social team. I am an entrepreneurial advocate and I am really excited to bring School of Hustle to you today with Michael and David of Mike and Dave's. So hey guys, welcome. I'd love for you to tell everybody who you are. Sure, well thanks for having us first of all. And I'm Michael, uh, so Dave and I were born and raised in New York City. We've been best friends since we were 15 years old. Moved to San Francisco for a little bit of time and really changed the way that we look at food and healthier ingredients. And with our company, wanted to bring something like that back to where we came from. And I think it's amazing that two best friends founded such a cool company. What is the product all about? Like, what makes Mike and Dave's so unique? So it's called really nice cream, but it, which really means it's a fruit-based soft serve looking product, but it doesn't peel as thin as soft serve. It's really thick through our okay. process and the ingredients that we use. So it's really a mix and match of different textures and flavors that you can create yourself or that we've pure curated for you. And the bases are made from whole frozen fruits. There's no added dairy, there's no added sugar to them. It's literally the whole frozen fruits that we have these big blending machines in our store that blend our toppings in with it. So it creates this ice cream like consistency, but again, it's just the frozen fruits. My, our favorite moments in the store was, you know, we were uh, in there and there was this guy with his, this is, with his daughter and they just ordered the product um, and they were eating it and Dave and I were walking out and the guy turns to me and he goes, wait, this isn't ice cream? That's another attempt that I made to make something out of necessity and was an epic fail. Um, just like the brownie, I had made it with <laughs> vanilla extract and pureed banana. And the, honestly, the taste and coconut meat and the taste was good, but I put it in the fridge to keep it stable to see what it would look like the next day. And it still tasted the same way, but banana not frozen will brown. So we had a whole crisis of, oh yeah, would you like vanilla icing? And then we're scooping this brown vanilla icing tasting <laughs> thing into people's mix and it really looked displeasing. And I was watching Shark Tank one night when I came home from work and first person that walks out, I make a dairy-free, soy-free, low-sugar vanilla icing, picked up the phone and called her the next morning, and now she works with us. Are you serious? Really? Yeah. That's so crazy. I mean, you're doing a lot here because it's not just does it taste great. Mm -hmm. It has to have the right texture. It has to have the right presentation, look and feel. Yeah. And it goes beyond that. I mean, it also has to hit certain nutritional goals that like we would set for exactly. ourselves. So like. We, are, we strive to have all of our blends be under 30 grams total of sugar. And when you look yeah. at some of our competitors, they reach above that with just the base that they're using without any added toppings, without any sort of you know, brownie bites or whatever. Their bases are way above that in sugar and we're talking about our full size, our full small, blended with all the toppings is less than 30 or less grams of sugar. From what I understand, you went from making your product at home to like commercial, like industry grade caliber. How did you do it? Nuts. I mean, really, <laughs> even though we were making it in the kitchen, like really honestly nuts. I had to make two in the past to get his taste approval. Now we need to make a few hundred a day. Dave, who sort of, he creates all of our flavors. He's the mastermind behind that. Um, was in our kitchen at night, uh, like making ice cream sandwiches out of Greek yogurt and like, you know, doing different things like that. And then it sort of evolved into like, when we were back in New York and we had already raised, you know, our first round of funding and we ordered our first machine. We were literally at my mom's house uptown, like with a machine, like blending different things, like making a mess everywhere. I mean, we must have gone through hundreds and hundreds of iterations of different products and, you know, a month straight of just like yogurt flying everywhere. Um, and then, you know, eventually <laughs> as we narrowed it down, we started doing different events and we got closer and closer to like the final product. Let's yeah. just, let's just give mom a big thank you because mom, I'm telling you, a lot of people love this product. And, and, and this is a making New York City a much better place. So you got, you got to give mom the shout. I think that's amazing. Speaking of questions, the GoDaddy tribe is equally inquisitive about what you guys are doing. And we went ahead and put this out in social and we have a question that came in from Derek. And what Derek wants to know is, what makes your product guilt-free? 
So I think there's probably two parts of that. We can divide that up how you want. Um, but I mean, nothing is really guilt-free, right? Like calories and is a measure of energy expenditure. So whether you eat a lot of a really healthy thing or a little of a really bad thing, you know, it's still about management and peppering in what's good and what's bad and 80 percent good for you, 20 percent, you know, live your life, do what you want. Um, for us, it's the basis. They're really just the bare frozen fruit. So if you want to take it an unhealthy route, you could say, wow, okay, there's so little sugar in this base. That's an extra tablespoon of Nutella I can put in and I'm total at the same amount of sugar as plain Froyo. Or you can say, you know what? Let's skip all the sugar and extra stuff all together and let's go with the almonds and the chia seeds and maybe the unsweetened coconut flakes to keep the total sugar lower. So the you know, wheel's in your hand so you can do whatever you want in the start. But you start from a good place. That's yeah. what it is. So our next question comes from Dorothy. And I love the question because not everybody can get down to McDougal Street in New York City to enjoy Mike and Dave's. What are your plans? for wider distribution, how can people soon start finding you at, at retailers or in, in other, other forms? Well, thank you, Dorothy, for that question because it really helped us out. Um, and Dave and I have been working for the past three months, and Sarah, on um, developing our direct-to-consumer model where you can order it through an online platform um, and you will get it shipped directly to your door via FedEx, you know, two, next day, two-day air. Um, wherever you want in the country. So, you know, look out for that. It'll, we'll, we'll announce it on our Instagram. So, Dorothy, coming you know, for you. <laughs> coming. <laughs> we have learned so much about you and your business. Thank you for giving us all of that. But now, I want to get personal. And we want to learn really about Michael and David as people. So we are going to play a little game called Hustle Time. Jonathan, will you please bring in the cards? Now, Jonathan has shuffled the cards, but I encourage you to give them a shuffle yourself, just so that we know it's a fair deck. Would you like to cut? So, in the spirit of getting to know you, we're going to set a timer for 60 seconds. Okay. And because we have two of you, we want to be very organized and we want to get through as many as possible because this is a competition. And we want to see how many we can do. So let's take turns. You want one and one, one, one? I want one and one. You grab it, you grab it. Ba-boom, ba-boom. We'll go back and forth and we will see how many questions we can get through in 60 seconds. Okay? And so you should, yes, and so what you should do is say the first thing that comes to mind, the longer you linger and think, the clock's running, okay? So, Jonathan, can we please have 60 seconds on the clock? 60 seconds, great. Ready, set, go. One thing you'd want in a desert island with you. Huge bowl of strawberries. One word you wish you could take away from the English language. No. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? <laughs> Fly, absolutely. Three things in your closet right now. Shirts, basketball sneakers, basketball. Worst trend you've ever participated in. Oh my god, I wore a thumb ring. Oh, aliens, fact or fiction? <laughs> fact. Uh, go to cocktail. Uh, Kill on the Rocks, you're lying. Dream dinner guest. Uh, LeBron James. Go to karaoke song. Ooh, I, I'm so bad at singing. Uh, Sweet Caroline. Boozy brunch or morning workout? Morning workout. Ideal fake sick day? Uh, stomach virus. What would your, how would your mother describe you? Oh, Amazing. wait. <laughs> Do you floss every day? Uh, twice a week. Song that is currently stuck in your head. Song that is stuck in your head. Uh, uh, he sings a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, would you rather have more time or more money? More time. Oh! oh! Some really, really fantastic answers in there. I'm sure, though, your ideal fake sick day isn't being violently ill, no, though. No, I thought that was an excuse. We'll count it anyway because you said it. Well, we'll go ahead and give you the card. That's okay. But let's see what we have. Thank you. Let's see where we're at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
win? That's fantastic. Actually, it's, a, it's about second place overall. We have had, yeah. we've done this on a few occasions and you are up in the top of the pack. Nice job, guys. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I really enjoyed playing Hustle Time with you and talking to you about all the entrepreneurial um, experience that you have in your product. This has been so much fun. And I know that you're always up for a challenge. So before you go on your way, I want you to give one last piece of advice to our newest employee at GoDaddy. Jonathan, will you please bring Noodle? So, Noodle really wants to better his lifestyle and become more healthy. We all want to get toward that 80-20 kind of rule where we're really thinking about being healthy 80% of the time and 20% doing some more of the indulgences that we might like. But it's hard to just get to that 80% very quickly. It's hard for Noodle, it's hard for a lot of us. What advice would you have for people who want to become more healthy and get on that 80-20 lifestyle? You wanna take this one? Well, I'll start it off. And I'm playing I'll, with the dog, I'm busy right now. Noodle, I, I, feel, I understand your pain, and, and by the way, you look great. Um, <laughs> but uh, my advice to you would be to make a gradual change. Um, it, it takes time, and it's a lifestyle. Um, and so, um, it's something that you need to do on a daily basis, change one thing, change two things, and, and that's the beauty of our product, which is like, you know, you can come in and, and start off automatically by getting something healthier, but still make it a little bit treatier, and over time, build that out um, to a healthier product overall. Uh, but my piece of advice would be to take your time with it and change little things here and there. Cold turkey's hard. You probably like cold turkey though, don't you? It's delicious. <laughs> 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 Well, thank you very much for this visit. This was fantastic. Hi, I'm Shannon Truex. Hit to subscribe and all of your entrepreneurial goals will come true. That is if your goals are to see more of Noodle and watch more episodes of School of Hustle.